I want to talk about one of my favorite concepts, the power of bucketing. So not basketball buckets, but mental accounting. And this is my terrible drawing of human brain. And this is a concept that we place money into different mental buckets inside of our head. Sometimes today money and sometimes future money. We also treat money differently based on how we got it. So did we find money on the street or did we earn it? Do we put our human capital at risk to get it and we'll treat it differently? Think about this. Do you go to Vegas, you put money on your favorite team, you win money. How are you going to use that money? What we see is people are more likely to use that on themselves, buy food, beverages, drinks, gifts, than to spend it on a serious expense. But if you earn that money, you got a tax refund, something like that, you're more likely to put it towards a serious expense. And so part of this gets to how do we treat in our mind preserving money versus spending money. And this is a huge issue once we get to retirement because all through our working lives, we learn one simple concept about retirement, S and S, savings, not spending. That is what people learn. We don't teach people how to spend down wealth in retirement while they're working. We teach them how to put money into an account, hopefully just keep seeing go up. That's what we teach you. We teach you about preserving and spending so we are ill-prepared for the challenges that come in a decumulation portfolio. And so instead, we need tools and techniques to articulate this, to message it over to somebody so they can follow their plan. And so this is where bucketing comes in. Segmenting assets and investments and income across a time horizon into different buckets. different buckets. Today, tomorrow, future. Your today is your safe. It's your cash. It's your CDs. Tomorrow is your mixed investments, FIAs, right? Bonds, CD ladders. Future is your growth because we're going to let that sit for a longer period of time so we don't have to worry about day-to-day volatility. This helps clients visualize their retirement. It helps you give a story for why you hold each asset. It helps clients compartmentalize that they're going to do already in their brain because that's what mental accounting is. So lean into it. And we're going to reduce that daily stress of the markets. Investing should be boring and simple for most people. Why? Because money is a means to an end and not the end goal.